Today, we reduced Indy's twin pregnancy down from two embryos to one. And the main question I'm seeing is why were we not able to flush the embryos out as we do sometimes and to put them into two separate recips so that both could continue? Because we were not planning on doing an embryo transfer, we did not preg check her until our normal preg checking window, which is 14 to 17 days. We caught her pregnancies at day 14 and 13 since the smaller embryo ovulated a day after. So it was a day younger than the older one. Now, it's very important if you are going to preg check to do it in this time period so that if there is a twin, you are able to reduce because of how difficult and dangerous twin pregnancies are on horses, you would want to reduce. So the reason you wanna do it before 17 days is because at day 17 is when the embryos will implant into the uterus. It's not impossible to reduce at that point, but it becomes much more difficult. But it's also not possible to do an embryo transfer at that point. When we do embryo transfers, you'll notice it is always between day six and day eight. Sometimes at day eight, the embryo is even too large to do the transfer because it has to be able to travel through a tube. It has to be caught by a filter. And the larger it gets, the more fragile it gets as well. So even if for some reason you were able to use a larger tube, then it would kind of cause more issues to the mare's cervix. It would also cause more irritation. It would also be a larger chance that the baby would rupture due to the fact that they do become more fragile the older they get. So at day 14, day 15, the embryos are too large to do an embryo transfer. But let's say we had done this at day eight, day seven, and we had done an embryo transfer. We definitely could have done twins and we had put, we could have put them into two separate recips. What we most likely would not do is put one of them back into Indy. You have to flush them both out. Now, every now and then there's an accidental pregnancy left behind. But as far as flushing a mare and then putting the embryo right back in, it can be done, but it's the embryo at that point. We'll be putting back into a uterus that is kind of like hostile. It'd probably be uh, a little bit too inflamed, have a little too much inflammation to where it probably wouldn't be the best host. And the chances of that embryo continuing to thrive and grow are a lot more limited. So at this stage of the game, because they were too big to flush, because they were already at day 14 and 15, the only options were to reduce one or reduce both, because I would not ever personally allow a twin pregnancy to continue. Now, every now and then you'll hear about twin pregnancies and they do you know, have babies that are alive, but generally speaking, the people don't know about it or it was missed by a veterinarian. Yeah, that's the answer for that question. Let me know if you have any more and let's cross our fingers that that one pregnancy continues to thrive and we will check her in a week or so.